So that right there was an add-in. I didn't know I was gonna react to that. This is the stuff that I moving forward throughout my 2K career. I keep trying to find ways to let me ask y'all this. How many of y'all have noticed that when you go watch my 2K videos, somewhere in the video, motivational shit or informational shit just pop up? Some of you niggas ain't even making through the video that long. But type one if you have noticed that when you watch my 2K content, you're watching the 2K video, and then all of a sudden, there's 2K video, but there are some other audio talking. That's me trying to find ways to implement real information into your life. And I keep searching for ideas. How can I get this to them? How can I get them to be conscious about this? Whether it's credit, whether it's real estate, whether it's stock, whether it's business, whether it's spiritual. I keep, I'm keep searching. And so this, what we're doing today is just another form of how can I implement these type of videos that we're about to get started with now into your life. So the first one we have is um, from the brother Ron Will. And every video that I'm going to show y'all, the link is in the description on the YouTube. So if y'all want to go and actually support these guys um, and start to get into their content yourself, you know, the link is in the description for you to check out, check out the videos. Welcome to Deep Thought. Don't allow negative thinking to break you. And now I touched on this a bit yesterday, right? But there's a lot of people who, I'm just gonna be real, they're broken by negative thinking. No matter what, no matter what's happening, they see the bad side of it. No matter what's going on, oh, this is always happening and everything. Oh, this is always bad. It's like, I, it was a young man in my uh, circle I had to correct him one time. He said, oh, bad things always happen. I said, oh, stop, stop. No, don't ever think that. You still alive. You got to think positively. Yes, bad things will happen, but don't, don't have that attitude of bad things always happening because they always will. Because one thing, when you start thinking negative, when you start thinking in terms. And that's what, that's something that, that's something that, I try to work on with Cat. You know, another thing me and my barber talk about is how you start a relationship and usually how it, how it would finish. And I ask myself, did I start my relationship with Cat through negativity? Because I noticed that I'm not a big talker. I know y'all probably think like I talk a lot, but I'm a very quiet, reserved guy. I I'm going to turn up quiet. I'm an introvert, extrovert. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm very to myself, but I do talk, but I, I'm not really a big talker. So there's often time where Kat, she would start a conversation and how she would start a conversation would be to point out something that may be negative of the world and i try to get her to refocus like that's not how we should think we shouldn't even think if it if it's not a positive sentence that is coming out of your mouth you're gonna irritate me i i don't want to have a, a irritating conversation because the conversation led with something negative. I don't care. There's nothing that is impossible because if we just think positive, we will find the solution and the solution will come. But to think negative, always open the door for failure. Always open the door for, if you can see it for them, it can be seen for us. 
So I want to see positive for everybody around me. I want to think positive for every outcome. And if I'm not thinking positive, because usually what I'm thinking, I'm going to say. So if I'm not thinking positive, I'm keeping my mouth closed. I try not to get into uh, 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 a negative thought. And when I have negative thoughts, I have learned, once again, to catch them. I was not able to catch these thoughts months ago. I now can get in a, a negative thought and I get that out of there. Come on, why are you tripping? Reinforce yourself. Positive, positive, positive. Listen, y'all, we're going to stomp our toe and be like, God, mm. you know, we're going we're gonna to have some moments where we think negative. But do we have to speak those words? Do we have to let those negative thoughts just stay in there? We can change them. You can have, you have the power to say, that's gone. No, nope, rewrite that. You can rewrite every code in your life. You can rewrite every, every habit in your life. So this is something that I try to teach in my household, like positive, think positive, be positive. Don't even play with me on negative. I, she test me because she think it's a game. So we have a conversation. She say some negative and guess what I do? Click. Why you hung up on me? Because I told you, don't, I don't want to hear it. Anything, I was just joking with you. I don't want you to joke with me. I don't want you to joke with me uh, about a, a negative thing. Don't play with it. We play with fire when we start to think negative. What we allow to format in our brain, and we keep creating these patterns, don't you think you're going to act on them? So how about let's format, let's keep, let's turn the, the, the ties on this and, and try our best to force out positive thoughts, positive thoughts. So therefore, the thoughts that we have can come out of our mouths. Man, I don't, yesterday, and I, you know what, I got to give her some credit. Okay, yesterday, I went to McDonald's. Y'all know I don't eat McDonald's. But I've been fucking with them fries lately. I don't know. I don't eat McDonald's, but the last I haven't ate McDonald's in years. Up until about last week. I haven't ate McDonald's in years. And I think it's because my daughter keeps asking for chicken nuggets. So that's how I got fucked up on McDonald's. And I don't eat McDonald's. And you know, I tell y'all about McDonald's. Don't fuck with McDonald's. But my daughter been eating these chicken nuggets, and I'm like, damn, she want chicken nuggets from McDonald's? So I'm like, okay, got the chicken nugget from McDonald's. And then I had some of the fries. Got them fries, man, them fries. I, I'm just going to say this. I think McDonald's has the best fries in the world. I just, the reason I don't eat McDonald's, because, um, what I've been told is, it's garbage food. And remember I said success leaves clues? The people that I read about, the people that I hear about, they tell me to stay away from McDonald's. The people that own the level that I'm trying to get to, they say McDonald's is a place you stay away from. You don't go put that into your body. What they have to offer is fucking dog meat. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if it literally dog me, but I'm saying, though, it's garbage waste of food. That's what I've been told. You know what I'm saying? So, by the, by the people that I follow path of, of success, processed food, whether it's, you know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, you can say the niggas too. So, the processed food that we eat, they basically, these people that I follow, if you're not eating at home, then you shouldn't be eating. But of course, we are going to step out in a restaurant a time or two. But eating that type of food every day, 
You're not going to get to where I'm at. You need to eat at home. You need to learn how to cook. You know what I'm saying? So I may not know how to cook, but you know, Kat, she know how to cook. So I try to put myself in a position where I don't eat out. Now, when I'm solo dolo, of course I may eat out. But I try to go to restaurants that are a little more expensive. And this is why we have to make money. Because healthy food is expensive as fuck. Bro, this is what it made me see. This is what I don't like about the system that the world have created. The healthy food, you need money for. So that's why I had to work fucking hard because I don't want to eat the garbage food, the toxic, the processed food. So I want to go to the good stores. I want to go to the good restaurant. I want to go to the good supermarket. So I don't eat the fucked up shit. So that shit costs a little more money. But uh, back to the video. Uh, what's bad is happening in everything. It's going to keep going. Because oh, in a way, my bad. Let me finish my story. So I was telling you, so I was at McDonald's, and because we're talking about positive thoughts, the old me used to judge where a homeless person would spend my money. And this is why I say I'm proud of Cat. Because yesterday, normally she would say something negative, but I was in McDonald's, and this lady came up to me. She's and she said, uh. She said, can you buy me an iced coffee? That's how she said it. She said, can you buy me an iced coffee? Soft voice. And she said it like that. You know me. Now, she asked a couple people before me. But you know, I'm on this path where I'm, I'm taught to give. I'm being trained to give. Give. Share. Bless, abundance come to you. So I, so I give, I give, I give. All right. So she asked everybody. They said no, but of course she got the right one. I'm being trained to give. So yes, I'll buy it. She said, but I don't have anything. I said, just go order it. Now I'm looking at. I'm not looking at her because I already see. I already looked at her. So. I'm not giving her no eye contact, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm really like, you know what I'm saying? So I tell her to go order it. And, you know, she's like, I don't have no money. And I said, you know, I just go order it. I'm going to take care of it. Now, guess what, y'all? I have an iPhone 6S. Why? The people so following, why should I upgrade my phone when it worked perfect? You get me? This is an iPhone 6S. It's this like this phone probably six years old. Y'all tell me how old this motherfucker is. This is an iPhone six S. I know it got to be over five years old. I know at least at least seven or eight generations ago. What y'all got now? The iPhone 15, 16? What's what's the latest iPhone? But j just know I got I got one that. Oh, 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 oh. That's why do I need to upgrade my phone if nothing wrong with it and it worked properly? You know what I'm saying? So, the lady that asked me for the iced coffee, <laughs> my boy said, when you really hungry, <laughs> got the Android. The lady that asked me for the iced coffee, she said, uh, that motherfucker from 2010. <laughs> Hey, motherfucker still work though. I can call, I can text, I can get on the internet. Leave my and listen, them motherfucker work on it. Don't watch your business, my boy. So the lady, she um she get a phone call, bro. The lady that asked me for the iced coffee that said, Can you buy me an iced coffee? Get a phone call. Now I know an up-to-date phone because Cat got one. She, she can't get to update the phone because they got a family plan. So she um she owned a new phone. You know, so I know what it looked like. Yo, 
This woman pulled out a new iPhone and said, hello? I said, man, look at this shit here. Now, that's what I'm saying in my head. This lady just hit me with the voice. Uh, can you buy me a coffee? Pulled out the phone and said, hello? And started talking to somebody. Had it on speakerphone. My speakerphone don't even work that. Okay, I do want to make a disclaimer. My speakerphone, my speaker don't work that good. I don't know, man. You know, it's old, man. So she got, she was able to put her shit on speakerphone and start talking. And somebody was asking her about something, and she was like, "Nah, I'm out." I like the motherfucker talking normal, but that ain't how she was talking to me just two seconds ago. So, but you guess what? I didn't worry about it. I didn't worry about it. It's not for me to judge. It's just for me to give if I'm going to give and bless. If I'm going to bless, I'm not going to think negative. So I didn't think negative. I didn't now say because you pull out a phone that's newer than mine, I'm going to take back what I said I was going to do for you. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I bought her the coffee. And, you know, I walked out, you know, but, um, and I didn't think nothing else about it, you know, and, and I was telling Kat the story and normally Kat would say some, some negative shit, but I was proud of her because she just said, Hmm, <laughs> okay. And I was like, that was good because that showed me that, you know, we're trying to think positive, even in dark times, even in fucked up situation, we still trying our best to think positive. So I was happy to know that me telling her that story, she didn't say, damn. And she probably finished. Woo, woo, woo. She didn't say none of that. All she said was, ha, 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 that's crazy. Because it was crazy, but it's okay. If she feel like she getting over on me by having me to buy her a coffee and, you know, woo, 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 this, it's okay. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? People are going to try to manipulate you and take advantage of you. But guess what? You can choose to how you want to react to that. You can react to that negatively or positively. And I choose to react positive. So whether she was getting over on me, it doesn't matter because I know I did a good deed. I know I did something that a person came to me and said they, 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 they was in need and I was able to be there to provide need and care. And that's all I wanted. Because my goal is to be able to help. I want to help. If you're getting over, I don't care. I know I bless my heart. Because my heart and my cup, I need to help. That's going to fill me up. I don't care what you do with it after I help you. You've embraced it. You've embraced it. You know? And then you embrace it to the point it'll break you. So instead of like thinking, okay, he's trying to, you could be in a bad situation, but and try to think, okay, instead you got to think about the positive side of it, you know, positive and then thinking positively. And then the main positive thought is that no matter what it is, you're going to get out of it. You got to think that way, but see, some people don't. That's why you have some people who, you know, they might be homeless. Like, I'm, I use myself for an example. I told you before, there was a point, you know, I'm married, got a, uh, got a young toddler and a pregnant, you know, with a pregnant wife. And we were sleeping in a friend's basement. We were sleeping, it was bad, it was bad. And even, even worse, you know, even when I started a job, I didn't have like, had like one good shirt, one good t-shirt, a good pair of pants. I did have two pairs of shoes, though. <laughs> but whatever the case, I was, I, it was starting off slow. It was starting off slow. It, it wasn't a good thing. But I didn't let that, I didn't let that stop me. I just <laughs> kept going. Thanks. And I was able to build from there. I definitely know how that feels. And I got more clothes, more shirts, more everything. You know, big old home and everything. You know, sometimes I'll be like, man, got to go up and down these two flights of steps <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> you know, because I didn't embrace the negative thought. You know, when I was going through the negative time, I didn't embrace it. it didn't allow it to break me. 
you got to be the same way. Because sometimes, I'm going to tell you what, sometimes when negative things happen, that means you're not going in a positive direction. That means you might not be seeing the positive side of something. That might be telling you you need to start thinking positively about something. You need to see the lining in that dark cloud, the silver lining, you know, something. Because if stuff ain't working for you, you that shoot, that's, that's the thing. It's like if stuff ain't working for you, stuff ain't going well for you, shoot, that, that's a clue right there. His name is Rum Wills. This channel that he have right here, he have three channels. He have a money channel, um, a spiritual channel where, you know, it's about the intellect. We thinking, we going deep. And then he have a channel where he talk about females as well. But the channel that I mostly um, entertain and tune into is his money channel and um, his deep thought channels. This channel right here, if you go to my YouTube, the link will be in the description. So every video that we're going to react to today, <clears throat> the link of that video will be in the description along with his name, um, the name of that channel. So. Once again, this channel that he that we on right now is Ron Wills Deep Thought. There's stuff ain't right. You gotta change your thinking. But see, some people don't change their thinking. Some people do not change their thinking. Some people keep going and doing the same negative thing over and over. And then they get stuck. And then they're in a bad place. And really they it's because they embrace being in that bad place. They allowed it to break them. See, the one thing you have ultimate power over <clears throat> in this world is yourself Facts. and how you think. I don't care. Yeah, you have plenty of the days trying to program you to think this way, and they put negative stuff out. But you know, you have to just look at look at different things. You have to think about the positive side. You have to find the positive side. Like when the days in their media and everything, they put out some negative information. There's some positive information out there, especially in the age of social media. You could probably find it if you look for it. And with search engines and stuff, it's probably easier to find than it's ever been to find. You don't have to embrace it. You know, you can choose whether you're going to embrace negativity or positivity, you know? Because the negativity, I've never, I have never in my entire life, in six decades of That's life, true, dreams. seen That's true. anybody rise up and they embrace a negative thinking. I've never seen it. One, because once they do, they. Now, imagine if we take this mindset into the 2K. And that's what I've been doing. See, this is what I'm saying, y'all. I've been getting the cheat code to understand how to play this game and take the L's, but I'm not looking for L's. I'm always looking for W's, but it's okay if I get a loss because guess what? I'm still getting to play with my homies. I'm still getting to talk this game. Y'all know how we do while we playing 2K. So I still get to have fun in this environment, although I'm trying my best to win. I'm not going to be upset. I'm going to say, ah, oh, God, we had that one. But it's moving on for me. So this is what I'm trying to bring y'all, like understanding that we can play 2K, but if you play it without owning yourself, you will do something reckless. If you play it without breaks, you will do something reckless. You haven't, you haven't gained control of your life but you on here playing a video game where you're trying to create, you're trying to control it. And we know we can't control this game. We know that, right? So the only aspect that we can control is us. So we can control how we react to losses. We can control how we react to bad shots going in. We can control ourselves on seeing the bad flaws of this game. Yes, we don't like it. But should we allow it to make us feel a certain way inside? Well, we should not. So the only thing that we should be doing is get in control of self before we say, I'm about to play 2K. You need to already have it in your mind that it's okay. Whatever happened, happened. It's a game. It's a game.
So that's why I say I, I love what I do. I get to build friendships. I get to build accountability. We get to think positive. And we get to talk about real life things while we're playing 2K. Y'all know that's my whole angle. We're going to play this 2K, but along the game, we're going to be talking about some real stuff. And I know I can't do it 24-7 because I know most people will run from it. You know, most, like I said, if this is not your cup of tea, you're going to go to sleep for a minute and wake back up and say, oh, that nigga still in there talking. Because I did it. When I was trying to get comfortable reading, where's my book? Bro, come on, bro. You think niggas enjoy reading books? Then, listen, this is a small book for a lot of people, but it ain't small to me. How many pages? Okay, we ain't gonna count those back pages. So, 260 some pages. Come on, dog. Oh boy, Ghost said, Yo, Ghost, what's good, man? Appreciate them. Big three months in a row, 28 months total, dog. My boy said, We got to try some of that wound code. We're going to have to do, bro, you got to do something. You got to have to do something, bro. You're going to have to do some Musa. You got to, you know what I'm saying? Now, this book right here, this book is called Deep Works. Uh, the other one upstairs, uh, I'll show it to y'all next time, but. This book right here is called Deep Work Rules for uh, Focus Success in a Distracted World by Carl Newport. Cal, Cal Newport. Cal, Cal Newport. Yeah, Deep Work. So, man, that's what I'm saying, though. We, it took time. It takes time to get comfortable. And sitting here for listen, bro. Come on, I ain't even. Am I doing it right? You feel me? Nigga had to find a comfortable position because I'm not used to doing this. I'm not used to getting the book and reading. So now I gotta figure out. Okay, I ain't liking that. Let me see. Okay, let me put my feet up. Duh. Okay, now nah, that ain't gonna work. Okay. Ah, uh, that ain't gonna work. You gotta find your mode. You gotta find where you fit comfortable at to do something that's gonna change your life for the better. So when it comes to listening to videos like this, you might get sleepy the first five times. But that sixth time, you like, yeah, I can listen to that. I can listen to that. The first time I opened the book and, and started reading, nigga, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna read by two pages. Now I can read three pages. Now I can read four pages and then so forth and so on. But it takes time because that's not a comfortable thing. So we have to do the things that going to improve us, but it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be comfortable. It's not going to be suitable in the beginning. But as time goes, you get comfortable and comfortable and comfortable. And now you're doing something amazing. And you look back and your shelf look like his. Like, nigga, I got books stacked up on stacked up. You know what I'm saying? Stay there, they go down. I've seen people go from a high level to a lower level. And that's because they're always thinking negatively. Or they start thinking negatively and then change up. That's I've facts, seen, though, on Devo. Scores of people, scores of people, in, you know, individuals, everything. But they allowed it to break them. Meanwhile, I've seen some positive people be in some bad, be temporarily in a bad situation. Just like in my uh, episode yesterday, I said positive thinking can get you through bad situations. That's not something I'm just saying. That's not theory. That's facts. I've, I've done it, and I've That's seen facts. scores of people do it. You know, they, they be going through some bad stuff, some bad things, and still make it. Shoot. Still make it. I know a young lady. I know a young lady. She was getting, she had gotten abused, sexually abused from the age of three. And one thing I give to her, she always stayed positive. She was going through some stuff. She was going through some stuff. I was just, and I've told her, I was like, Shh, your strength is incredible. Your strength, because no matter what she's, no matter what she was going through, she's thinking, she always think positively. Things are going well for her now though. 
She, and she, she went through some stuff. She didn't allow the negative things to break her. She didn't think negatively, you know? But see, some people, they'll go through a negative uh, period and they'll allow it to break them, you know? They'll get depression and all of that because that's all that is, is just negative thinking. They, seriously, people have gone through it. And it's tough, it's tough. I would just say to people, no matter what, no matter what's happening, try to see the positive side, you know? People who follow me for a long time know I went through a stroke. Yeah, I could easily, there were so many negative elements to that's that. That's crazy though, because, that's crazy though, because I was here, you know, I was a, a supporter of his when the stroke happened, and I got family members that have had a stroke, and it turned their mouth, it twisted their mouth. Some family members, you know, uh, they go numb on one side of their body, or a body part go numb. You know, you hear about so many things, and like I have said, I got family members where I've seen where the mouth get completely twisted, um, or the neck gets stuck a certain way. Uh, I know a family member like that. So to see him go through his stroke, bro, and come back how he did, it was, it was, it was, it was phenomenal because like I said, when you have seen what a stroke would do to somebody and you see this man here coming back strong, back in the gym, back giving that content, um, life lessons to, to men and women of, of all ages that's willing to listen. And you don't see no major issues or you don't even hear about no major issues from them. That's beautiful. And... You have to take your hat off and say, working out, being positive, staying on your path. Those are the things that can all help us whenever we're going through something as terrible as a stroke. Whenever we're going through a loss of a family member, a loss of a relationship. Staying true to your faith. Being positive. Working out. These are things that can help us overcome anything. There is nothing that can stop us from overcoming nothing. As long as we stay true to our faith, stay true, stay true to our belief, be positive, work out, stay on your path, you can't be stopped in this world. You know, we look at these people that have these serious medical condition and they still running up the hill of success and you look at them like motherfucker ain't got but one leg but smiling every day getting up taking on the challenge of being a person with one leg so it's a lot of us that we have all these things that people say they want but we willing to quit at the drop of a hat we're willing to take longer breaks but while you doing that, somebody going to steal your spot. Somebody going to sneak up. Well, not sneak up. You know what happened to the rabbit that slept? The turtle just kept on and won the race. So that's what I be trying to get us to see. Like, we need to get in position to win the race that we are fighting. Because we all have our own race to run. We need to put ourselves in a position to win, though. And there are some things we are going to have to cut out. We're going to have to lose out on. We can't keep doing things that are not going to benefit us in the long run. Please. And I'm still not 100%. But I think positively, I'm like, well, hold up. Yeah, it's tough walking sometimes, but I can still walk, though. You know, you know, I can go up and down my two flights of steps. You know, there was a point at for a second, I was thinking, oh man, I might have to get a bed for like the first floor of my uh, place. Well, the second floor, you know, but didn't have to because I didn't embrace anything negative about that. And then what y'all think about that? Yeah, you can go through some problems. We all gonna, look, that's just life. 
but you don't embrace the negative thinking. You don't allow it to break you. You start thinking positively about something and you can get through it. I don't care what, I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. You can change your life, but you got, it starts up here. You got to start up here, all right? I want y'all to really think about what I'm saying, all right? And, but whatever the case, don't allow negative thinking to break you, all right? So anyway, that's all I have for today. I want y'all to really think about what I'm saying. And especially if you're going through something right now, don't allow it to break you, all right? Don't allow it to break you. So anyway, I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings. Once again, the link to that video in, in his channel will be in the description. Check him out, man. Name is Rom Wheels. Um, I, 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 listen, you're going to enjoy his content. He got a money channel. He got a spiritual deep thought channel. And then he have a channel where he talk about female. You know what I'm saying? I don't really. Rom Wheels. Um, W-I-L-L-S. R-O-M. But like I said, if you go to the description, you can just click on his link. If you go to the, to the YouTube screen that we have right now, you can just click on that link. Yes. No, W-I-L-L-S. But deep thoughts. That's why I want you to, because see, I want you to go to this channel. I want you to, I, I don't want you to go to his one, because if you type in Ron Wills, they're going to take you to his female channel, where he talk about females. I want you to go to the one where he talking about mind over matter. Where he talking about, you know, the, the things that can help shape you into being a great man or a great woman. You know, um, you know, learning ourselves you know being in tune with, with 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 nature with life um like these are the things that we can get from the deep thought channel you know you can get valuable information on his other channels as well especially the money channel you know i like his money channel as well but the deep thought is the one that um you know i'm clocked in with um for real for real because he, he he always talking heavy game. Okay, so you oh yeah, you know who he is then. That's amazing. But like I said, he he just hit a hundred k um a couple months ago on his his main channel. But like I said, even he said he wished this was the channel that actually blew up the deep thought because this is what the world need. But see, the world gonna always gravitate to the low hanging fruits, and that's. It's easy to talk about females and this and that, but how easy to talk about the issues that we have in our personal life. If we want to get therapy, is we trying to better ourselves? Is we taking accountability? See, this is what the deep thought channel going to do for you. They're going to make you sit in your accountability. They're going to make you look and reflect on yourself and say, damn, so I'm well met because of me and not because of you, not because of her, not because of him. Everything that's happening to me in my life right now is because of the things that I have done to lead these actions to me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I have more videos to react to, but I told myself that at 12 o'clock I was going to get off because I'm going to um, going out to eat breakfast. Me and Kat, I'm going to go eat breakfast this morning. We're going to this restaurant that still sells breakfast. So you probably say, it's 12 o'clock, bro. Ain't no breakfast. Well, I'm going to eat breakfast. I don't know what she's going to have. But uh, bless. What's good, gang? What's up, my boy? So, you know, like I said, I'm learning how to tell y'all that I'll be back instead of y'all holding me. Or y'all not holding me. Me thinking that I got to stay when I told myself at 12 o'clock I'm going to get off. So, I'm practicing what I preach. I tell y'all, don't get on this 2K. Set a time. Set a time limit. Yo, can y'all do this for me today? Can you set a... Thank you, my boy. Can y'all please put a time limit on how much you're going to play 2K and don't go over that time? Please. Can y'all do that for me today? Can you set up a time for you to play 2K and don't go over it? Don't go... And so let me set up a time for tonight. Tonight I will go live at 7.30 and at 9.30 I'm going to get off. 
Now, the only reason I don't go live at 730 is because, you know, the kids pushing the time back. But I'm going to, my plans tonight is to go live at 730 and get off at 930. I'm going to play 2K tonight, 730 p.m. Eastern, and get off at 930. Because, like I said, we have to control the time. We got to. So I asked y'all today, man, set a time for 2K and stick with that time. Do not set the time for eight hours. <laughs> no, man, we cannot be playing for that long. <laughs> but hey, I appreciate y'all, man. Like I said, I would have streamed longer. So what I'm going to do is, yo, appreciate the new following to the family. If you like teamwork and defense, you'll love the channel. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go eat. She's going to actually go pick up the kids today. So um, I may be able to come back and play 2K um, before then. But the time that I have set is for 7.30 to 9.30. And you know what? I'm not going to even play with it. I'm not going to do nothing in between that. I'm just going to come and edit, probably edit some videos and stuff. So I can put out for the YouTube and um, TikTok. So yeah, I won't be live again until 7.30 tonight. But we and, and tomorrow morning, this is what we're going to be doing in the morning. Because I think morning is where we want to send everybody off to work and get energy and, and, and you know, uh, uh, abundance of knowledge. So I think my morning stream is going to start being this. This is what we're going to be doing in the morning. And then at, at night, we'll play 2K. For two hours to three hours. Because I mean, I got to, because I, I have opportunities that's going on in my life, and I don't want to get back into the old way of myself and not managing my time. Because if I'm not managing my time, guess what? I'm not managing my money. I learned that today. I was like, huh, that makes sense. How can you manage your money if you can't manage your time? It make per perfect sense because if I don't manage my time, if I overdo this, then I'm over, I'm slacking on there right there when I'm getting more money over here, but I'm over here participating in something for way too long. Now I only can give this 30 minutes, and now I'd have missed out on the abundance of what I had coming. So you get what I'm saying? So um I'll be back tonight at 7 30. Um uh, thank y'all for the support. Please go check out the video right here. We'll finish the other videos tomorrow, and then every morning we'll just have new videos to, to, to you know, listen to that can help us in ways that we don't even think can help us, man. So thank y'all for the support. Y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all back here tonight. Thank y'all for the support.